people. So who is your mentor? Who is your mm -hmm. inspiration? <laughs> well, as I said, I mean, all the 2000 books that I've read till now, especially all those great world leaders, especially uh, I, I literally imitate Dr. Kalam. I imitate um, uh, his lifestyle, his routine. So I think Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is my major source of inspiration. I wish he was alive. He would have been the biggest evangelist of my mission, making India read. Unfortunately, I could not meet him. He is no more. So when it was, I think the first book that I did as part of summary of booklet, Mission Making I Read was his autobiography, Wings of Fire, Agni Punk. So I started the mission by paying tribute to him and he had just died when I started in the month, in, in the year 2015. He just passed away one month ago when I started. So yeah, he's, he's my mentor. Among living beings, I think the... Um, I I I think I think Bill Gates is one of those rare entrepreneurs who is now on his second mountain. So there is a book called The Second Mountain, where it's a metaphor uh, used, where the first mountain is where we chase money, you know, we try to impress the world, we should look good. Yeah. And then there is a valley of suffering. <laughs> we realize that okay, what I was doing for lost all these years, I was just mm -hmm. half the life is spent in impressing other people. What about me? What about my inner peace? Yeah, And the journey starts inward. And through that valley of suffering, there are very few people who climb the second mountain, which is about making a meaningful contribution to your motherland. It's about Absolutely. you know working on your purpose and passion. Then, then you don't have to wait for a weekend to enjoy. You don't have to wait for a Monday to work. They all start looking same. Yes. So I believe I'm lucky that I'm, uh, I'm on a second mountain at a very young age. <laughs> and so does um, uh, Bill Gates. No? Yes. He, got, he, he learned from Steve Jobs the mistake that Steve Jobs committed. And then now he, he stepped down from the, as a CEO of Microsoft and, and lying somewhere in South Africa, helping the poor, building toilets, fighting malaria. Yes. 